Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, so I'm happy that you're watching this again. Um, this is now lesson 4.3 and we're going to continue our lessons about reproduction with this lesson. So it's 4.3 Hormones in Puberty and it starts on page 94 in your textbook. So let's get started. So let's talk about hormones. Hormones are substances that control all kinds of processes. Now, hormones are produced in what we call the endocrine system. Now, you may remember that we have all kinds of organ systems. Some of them are the circulatory system, the respiratory system, the digestive system, the nervous system. And here we have the endocrine system. Now, the endocrine system is spread all over your body. You can see part of it is in your brain, then part of it is over here in the center of your body, and part is over here in your sex organs. So, all of these different organs work together in the endocrine system. And you can see, for instance, in the brain, we have a very tiny little um, gland and that's called the pituitary gland now remember hormones are produced by glands in the endocrine system there's also the thyroid gland and it's in your throat and in dutch we call this the schild clear and there's also glands on the top of your kidneys the adrenal glands the pancreas partially works for the digestive system making pancreatic juice but it also makes a special hormone called insulin. Let's talk a little bit about those two um, adrenal glands and the pancreas. For instance, the adrenal gland makes the hormone adrenaline, and adrenaline is what we call the fight or flight hormone. What it does, and what all endocrine glands do, is they produce glands that affect target organs. So in the example of the adrenal gland, the adrenal gland makes the hormone adrenaline and the hormone adrenaline then gets into the bloodstream and it's just like a messenger. This message then goes to your heart and to your lungs. Your heart starts beating faster. Your breathing goes up. And this is for the purpose for you to be able to efficiently run away or fight. So flight or fight, right? Another example would be the uh, pancreas that produces insulin. Insulin uh, controls the level of blood sugar in your bloodstream. And so this is important for, um, for your body to stay healthy and get enough energy. And if you cannot control your sugar amount in your bloodstream that means not enough sugar gets into the cells then you, you that's because your insulin hormone does not work or work very well and that means that you need to inject insulin from another source so you can see that hormonal glands affect target organs they do not necessarily affect themselves, they are messengers. The, the hormones are messengers that affect target organs. Remember, there's also other types of messengers in the nervous system. Those are electrical messengers uh, that go back and forth from your brain to uh, receptor cells in your nervous system, in your sensory organs. This is different. This is really chemicals. So hormones that are sent to organs from your endocrine glands. So some of these hormones trigger puberty and specifically those hormones are called sex hormones and in the male that is called testosterone which is produced in the testes and in the female there are actually two hormones one is progesterone and the other one is estrogen and they're produced in the ovaries. Now remember target organs one more time so you really know this. This is important. Testosterone is a hormone that is actually made in the testes and it also the target organ are the testes. Uh, one of the target organs is the testes themselves 
for sperm production and then estrogen is uh, made in the ovaries just like progesterone is also made in the ovaries but then the target organ is the uterus okay well let's start talking about puberty in boys during puberty lots of stuff is happening to your body and some of the stuff is identical to what's happening to a girl and some of those things are different from girls so pubic hair is one of those things that hormones start to trigger around puberty and puberty uh, the word pubic hair and puberty is very identical isn't it pubic hair means schaamhaar so then armpit hair chest hair of course armpit hair can also happen in girls chest hair is specifically for boys increased muscle mass pimples pouches also happening in girls and then the voice becomes deeper also sperm production starts to happen when we look at girls then of course they also develop pubic hair and armpit hair but they also get widening of the hips um, that's because they have to develop a body shape that prepares itself for giving birth and then there's breast development pimples once again and here the voice of course becomes higher and then there's excel development and menstruation or in other words your period now i want to uh, have you focus on this word development it's very important that you realize that in boys sperm cells are produced starting from puberty but in girls egg cells are not produced starting from puberty because girls are already born with all of their egg cells in their ovaries right away so even before birth a female fetus already has these egg cells in there but starting from puberty these egg cells one by one every month develop so remember sperm cells are produced egg cells develop now in your book you have all of these uh, hormones this whole table sits inside your book in the chapter okay so have a look at this here we have the glands here we have the hormones that are made by those glands here we have the target organs that the hormones work on and the effect that it has on the target organs so there's a whole lot of hormones involved as you can see so for now only these three are the most important so make sure you understand the estrogen the progesterone and the testosterone because that is what we will talk about further on in the chapter okay so this concludes this lesson about hormones and puberty you can now go to your workbook if you haven't done so already and go to page 110 and do assignments 10 11 and 12. now what i have not mentioned yet is that now and then i will make photos of the answer book and post it in the instructions area of magister so you can check your workbook answers and correct any mistakes you may have made okay so wait for that but just remember the best way you can learn this is by really doing the workbook questions yourself first and then afterwards checking okay so i know you have to hand in your assignments to me but make sure you actually do them first before you hand them in okay um i mean without checking the answer book all right thank you very much for your attention and for watching and i'll see you next lesson in 4.4 okay <laughs> bye for now